Rational and open. I spent my whole life swimming in lies. Emily, what a waste. I feel like I know nothing. That I have to learn everything all over again. I'm a demon. I age more slowly. I can mentally manipulate people. I don't even know if it's a good thing or a curse. No. This is an advantage. I could get used to this pretty quickly, I think. Damn it. What a mess. Come on. Man up, Louis. I'm still the same old me. Demon or not, I'm still in charge of my actions. This father, I know nothing about. Yes. I've still got a lot to learn. It's enough to drive me crazy. Everything I believed in, nothing holds true anymore. Pull yourself together, man. I need to find some answers. There's no way you've been alone for a minute. Sir Gregory? Good day, Louis. I think it would be good to talk. How are you feeling? I don't know. I understand. I heard that William spoke to you at last about our nature and our family. It's a good thing, but you must be a bit shaken up. That's the least you can say. I bid you welcome among us, Louis. Knowing William, he probably didn't go into any detail about our family, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. How many of us are there in the family? We are eight brothers and sisters. What do you mean by brothers and sisters if we can change bodies? You reason with logic. Uh, we have retained the human habit. When we first come into this world, we retain a certain attachment to our first envelope. If we are born as a man, we are brothers. If we are born as a woman, we are sisters. But I must admit, it has absolutely no real importance. I just body. Well, tell me then, are there any other families like ours? There are officially seven, but we are the oldest and therefore the most powerful. Well, tell me then. Are there any other families like ours? There are officially seven, but we are the oldest and therefore the most powerful. What's Lord Mortimer's problem? I think he allows himself to be devoured by a need for recognition. Has he always been like that? More or less, but... Our latest sibling greatly accentuated his discomfort. Do you think he's jealous? I didn't realize you were so good at behavioral analysis. Indeed, William certainly is prone to jealousy. Finding one's place, notably in the eyes of our father, is not easy. And we each do what we can to succeed. But I can't justify this perpetual rebellion against our rule. 
Is there a head of the family? You'll see. You'll meet them all, of course. When you are ready, they created us and set out the rules, especially our father. As for our mother, she retired from the political stage. We don't see her much anymore. I think that all these questions simply bore her. I see. There is so much to learn. Yes, it's true. You've got some catching up to do, my boy. One thing you must understand regarding any disagreements that might arise between William and myself is his position with regard to mankind. What do you mean? Well, for centuries we've been trying to help and therefore preserve humanity. Monarchies are simple and practical. They enable us to inspire humanity efficiently and I can't understand why William wants to replace them with democracy. But if your intention is not to dominate the human race, why not let them be master of their own destinies? I perfectly understand this type of reaction from you, less from William. The main thing you're lacking is time. Man is transient, and one of his particularities is that does not learn from the errors of his peers. He uses up an incredible amount of energy building and destroying whatever he himself has put into place. If we weren't here to help them, guide them, I sincerely believe that humanity would have become extinct by now. On the other hand, we are eternal. When we plan ahead, we do it for the long term. Yes, I understand, but that's more like tyranny, isn't it? Well, it's all a question of your point of view. From man's point of view, I can understand how he would have that impression, if ever he found out. But don't forget your true nature. From the demon's point of view, in other words, ours, letting man do as he thinks fit would equate to letting him race to his own demise. But what about man's freedom to choose? That is man's worst enemy, Louis. Imagine a creature that dies without reaching the age of adulthood. It remains a child. We have to help him, otherwise he will put himself in danger. It has taken centuries for our family to establish relative peace between demons. Thanks to this policy, we have been able to decide everything by confining the other families to subordinate roles. And now William is obsessed with disrupting everything. Peace between demons? What do you mean? I'm not talking about conflicts within our family. If that was all there was, everything would be fine. But several other families, younger but nonetheless powerful, are trying to upset the balance. At present, we dominate most of the major countries around the globe. Some families are pushing by less influential countries to gain ground. You understand? As best I can, yes. When the time comes, you must take up a position on the political chessboard. I only hope your father doesn't take you down with him. Uh, are you suggesting he, he might be in danger? Well, Louis, our father's patience is not limitless. If we ever does go too far, then yes, he will be in danger. I want you to make an informed choice. Now go and see your father, see what he has to say and then think it over very carefully. That's exactly what I intended to do. Thank you, Uncle. Don't mention it. If I've been able to help you in any way, go now.
Louis, I was sure you would stay. I'm proud of you. You've made the right choice. It took great maturity to forgive your sister as you did. She brought me up. I, I realized I owed her a lot. We all make mistakes, as Sarah well knows. Why did you tell me the truth about her? I thought that might be too many truths to absorb at one time. I intended to tell you afterwards. You were in a hurry, so I made a decision. You've been able to understand and choose for yourself. How do you feel? <sighs> Hard to say. At peace, really. Oddly enough, I, I understand things that have happened to me better now. What would be more normal? It may have been a bit brutal, but you've just grown up in a very short space of time. From now on, you can influence your own future. I will guide you. We've all the time we need. You're not the first to make me an offer. What do you mean by that? Your brother, Sir Gregory. Gregory. Why am I not even surprised? What did he say? Not much. He bid me welcome to the family, that's all. <laughs> Louis, Gregory is my brother. Always has been. And he never goes anywhere to say or do not much. He doesn't do that. He's worried about me, that he wants to be there for you, and that you ought to be wary of me. Yes, something like that. I think he's worried about you. Worried? <laughs> Marvelous. That's just like him. You know, the family like ours, we all have a role to play. And his is to worry about everyone else. Let me reassure you, there's no reason for him to worry about me. Like the relationship your father, for example. I... It, it's sometimes complicated, I must admit. I like to understand things, even if it means thinking outside the box. In fact, that's a character trait that you seem to have inherited. You haven't answered about your father. What did I tell you? You are too curious, my son. Let time do its work. I don't impose anything on anyone. I'm just following my own path. But where does it lead? Hmm, I, I suppose I should explain. For centuries now, Demons have emerged in and around great leaders all over the world. But like true tyrants, they have governed with an iron fist in a studded glove. That's the impression I get. But you see, people's discontent is increasing, and they are too high up to hit it. They take themselves gods. Sooner or later, the people will turn against us, just as they have in the past. Each time it's happened, many of us have died. We must master the humans, yes but gently, and the best way of doing that is by allowing them a free choice, Lee. So that's your project? Of course not entirely, no. It's easier to keep control over people who suffer than people who are oppressed. A man with nothing to lose is a dangerous man, whereas if you give him a roof, food, and entertainment, he will do whatever you want. The best way of getting them to achieve something is to make them think it was their idea. For that, they have to feel as if they are free. Hang on. What do you mean? Look at the United States. From the start, I introduced an idea that will change everything. The idea that everything is possible. Everyone can become someone. Is there anything more beautiful? You mean it's not true? Man can move mountains when he believes it is in his own interest. And what nobler cause is there than his own freedom? Do you have any more examples? Of course. Talk to me about slavery. Well, take the slave trade, for example. It's an archaic practice that simply has to stop. Today, black slaves of America work for free and in unbearable conditions. Tomorrow, if you free the max and offer them work along with a salary, they will bless you for it. Then, they will be integrated into the system. They will be taxable. Once they are free, they will have to work for a roof, pay taxes, and feed their families. Maybe you could take away the civil rights of prisoners, for example. In this way, we have to control of all those who respect the system and benefit from the others as a workforce. 
tell me what you think about progress. Progress is essential, Louis. It's the future. What else? Progress must liberate humanity from burdens and chores. Progress must replace the man. Whatever his presence is not obligatory. It creates both the desire and the need. It will liberate women. As soon as the machines are able to do all the chores in the home automatically, it will bring men together by bringing a faster means of liberation. Look at the cultural revolution that printing brought about. But the most important of all has already been made. The foundation stone. Freedom of speech. The first amendment of the Constitution. There must be opponents to every project. So, above all, don't develop a one-track approach. Otherwise, man won't have enough room for expression to feel free. If man sees his chains, he will only want to break them. If we give men the feeling that they are free, I am convinced they will exceed their limits. And it's only from that condition that humanity shall rise up. But do you want to dominate or raise humanity higher? I want it to advance. I want it to progress. Man is our vessel. If he progresses, then so do we. Wouldn't you like to know what we really are? Who do you mean? Demons? Yes, us. Our species. I've been searching for centuries, trying to find a way to explain the reason of our existence. But humanity has not yet evolved enough to make any progress on the subject. I am convinced that the sciences will bring that knowledge someday. So, that's your objective, is it? To understand who we are? I see your point. Our family clings to its privileges and to the past, and that's how they are putting us in danger. The time has come for change. Now that you know your true nature, there are still a few things I need to teach you. What do you mean exactly? A new skill, and not the least, Louis. It's about taking control of a person. Okay, let's not waste any more time. I deduce that you're impatient to master what's in store for you. That is good. I thought I'd mix business with pleasure for this first time. What do you mean by that? The conference will come to a close shortly, as you know. Not that I'm fed up with archaic diplomacy, but it's time to ensure the success of this project. To make this happen, I would like Piaget to inform the group he You're has going changed. To use lives. your powers to alter the votes? The real game is about to begin, Louis. Up till now, the guests have been sizing each other up. From now on, it's time for Gregory and myself to play. As well as you yourself. Now, here is my plan. I would like you to join his eminence in his room. Just play along. We'll see when the time comes. Very well. And then, you're going to have to trust me. What we're going to do is painless for the human you are going to invade. Fade? Yes. You're going to enter his mind and take control. You're going to influence his action, make him speak, then concentrate. You must focus on him in order to feel his thoughts. Then, while speaking, you must link with him. Once you're done, you will naturally find your way to the source and enter into his thoughts. But what if I fail? Trust in your instincts. You just have to let yourself go. You have the skill. Let your nature come to the fore. You'll see. If you fail, you'll be in for some light banter with his eminence. That's all. There's nothing to be afraid of. Very well. Perfect. So now, the Cardinal is in his room. You will have to write a letter to the Pope as if Piaggi had written it himself. In this letter, tell the Pope that whatever happens during the conference, he must follow my propositions. But be careful. In order to protect himself from counterfeiters, the Pope had Piaggi's hand tattooed with a symbol. Be sure of his identity. You'll see when you're inside him. You'll understand. Once it's written up, just bring it back to me, and I'll send it off immediately. All right. I'll take care of it.
Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Gaggi. Ah, well, Louis, what brings you back to my chambers? May I sit down? Of course, Louis. Don't you feel good? Yes, but if I'm gonna pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. It's nothing, don't worry about it. Well, what can I do for you? Great. Now I need to concentrate. I want to speak to you, Your Eminence. I wanted to thank you for your help. I mean, for your time talking to me about the Holy Lands. Oh, and did you find it? It's the crusade of a lifetime for some people. You are searching for another Holy Grail. You're nearly there. Link into his thoughts. Does it annoy you at all? But what on earth is he trying to get at? Why do you ask, Louis? I don't follow. For the glory, Your Eminence. I can feel it coming. It's working. Insolence? Why, really? I am a man of the church, Louis. May God keep me from such ambition. Right. Let me in, Your Eminence. Why? <gasps> to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right. Well, it's time I got started. Let's see what I can find here to help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so I better take my time with and not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different. Right. Let's start writing. Lord Mortimer asked me to discredit Sir Gregory and to announce Yaji's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. It even appears that Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory both have access to obscure, superior forces to help them reach their ends. I think the Papal States, for the sake of their own preservation, ought to condemn this practice of conferences in the future. There's a kind of code composed of six letters that they always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piazza Step 2. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now ideally, it'd be better to do without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today the date is 2401-1793. I could pretend that the code got erased during the voyage, as if the letter arrived in really bad condition. That would be perfectly understandable given that it's traveled across the sea, right? That's all I need. Don't worry, he can't hear us. What do you mean, he can't hear us? What's going on here, Piaggi? 
calm down now. Matilda came to see me because he was having anxiety attacks. I wanted something to help him relax. I'm afraid I'm a little heavy-handed. Uh, you can say that again. I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is. And there he stays. <laughs> the perfect opportunity. What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. No, listen, my son. Hogwarts! I don't trust him in the slightest. Why not? Can you keep a secret? Of course, my son. Would you like to tell me under the confidentiality of confession? Ah, don't talk rubbish. I don't trust him. How is that possible? I am flabbergasted. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. And this is not the decision we take lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course. It's you change sides, hasn't he? Committing a crime in my room is out of the question. Think. It will all be on our heads. No doubt about it. I... I refuse to run the risk. Right. Monsieur Von Von, I always act in the best interest of all. I assure you... Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. No one's asking you to help me do it. You can't attack him without running the risk of jeopardizing the conference. Even though Sir Gregory has the edge? No. Gregory will never forgive you. Very well, Piaggi, you win. I refuse to let you do the first thing that comes into your head. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Time for me to get back into my body. Mortimer's waiting for you in the Red Salon. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Emily, can I come in? I... No, it's not a good time. <laughs> not right now. Leave me alone. I can tell from your voice that there's something wrong. Let me in. We have to talk, Emily. I said no, goddamn you. You know full well that getting yourself worked up like this is not going to help. It won't make any difference. It won't bring Emma back. Forget... I couldn't give a damn if it makes any difference. I only want to not think of anything. And then get out of here. I told you not to come in. Emily, I only want to talk. I understand you're upset after everything. You understand... You understand nothing. Listen. Dumbfounded, and I... Dumbfounded. Dumbfounded. Do you want to know how I feel? My whole life has just gone up in smoke. Everything I believe in, gone, blown apart. I have killed a part of myself. Yes, I, I know how you feel. No, I don't think so. I found out that my mother has been lying to me all my life. That she's not my real mother. I told her to go far, far away. Why, Louis? What have we done to deserve this? I don't think that's the question. We haven't done anything. 
only choices for which we must accept responsibility. And what if I no longer have the strength to do so? But you do. It's just too early for you to feel it. But believe me, we've all lost something here. All this, everything that's happened, it's a nightmare. I want to wake up. Emily, calm down. Put down that glass. I know you're telling the truth about Mortimer and home. I know they are demons. That's not all. Go on. I'm one of them, Emily. I'm a demon too. I know. But, but how? Sir Gregory stopped by to tell me. I... He wanted to give me a welcome. I don't understand. Welcome to the family. I... Uh, uh, you? You're his daughter? Mortimer's daughter, Louis. That makes you my sister? Yes. Just the thought of the night when I suggested that we... I feel so ashamed, Louis. And that means Emma is your sister, too. Oh, shit. I spent the night with my sister? I was attracted to you from the moment we first spoke on the boat. Now I understand why. Do you realize what that means? I'm a monster. I couldn't have known. I made a mistake, damn it. Oh, that feeling. It hurts all of a sudden. I... She's there. I... I feel her inside me. She's trying to read my thoughts. Emily, don't do it out of my body. Let me remind you that it's forbidden between demons. I... Sorry, Louie. I didn't want to. I have a sister. It's... It's very strange for me, too. A sister for a brother. Yes. Yes. I must get some rest. I must ask you to leave me now. All right, but don't finish that bottle. Don't start now. I would like to get some sleep. I'll be leaving you then. I thank you, Emily. Duke Manuel. Monsieur Bonaparte put me up. Would you believe it? Ah, the French. So tell me, what can I do for you? Earlier, you mentioned the arrival of a certain Al Asif. No, as... no, Al Asif. I spoke to you about a certain Al Asif. Oh, sorry. I got mixed up. Al Asif, then. Al Asif. It's not really all that difficult to remember. I wonder what role he is to have in all this. It should not be long before we find out. According to Sir Gregory, he will be arrived just before the conference starts. I'm sorry, but I'll be leaving. Perfect! I was going up to my room anyway. See you later. So, home has been something to do with the Alizy just before the next conference. So, Louis, what was your first time like? Bewildering, isn't it? Here's your letter. I have to admit, the experience was utterly amazing. Oh, tell me more. 
Everything went as planned. I didn't encounter any particular difficulties. Well done, you. On my first try, well, it took me a few years. But you did it. Gregory, what can I do for you? I've just come to make sure dear Louis has all the information he needs. Needs for what? You are free to make your own choices, William. I would like the same for him, too. There's nothing I want more, Gregory. Your schemes will lead to your demise, brother. Don't involve Louis. He has nothing to do with this. The end of the conflict approaches, and this masquerade will soon be torn asunder. Don't drag him down with you in your disgrace. Oh, ye of ill faith. On the contrary, brother, Louis has just entered the fabric. Give him a chance to find his place. His place? What place is that? At the end of the leash, like all the others. Don't listen to him. He's angry with our father. And with good reason. He governs us in the same way he governs humanity. Fear and submission. Same old tune. When will you understand that it's necessary to impose order for things to move forward properly? You are his thumb and proud. Open your eye for crying out loud. His whole system has become outdated. He's too old to see it. He will lead us to our eyes. There he goes with another of his grand speeches. William has always been fond of staging big scenes. It's his theatrical side. Does he have an inferiority complex? I've told him time I like that, Louis. He always has to take it one step too far. How dare you? You are blind, brother. Even if evidence bit you on the nose, you still wouldn't see it. I feel sorry for you. Tea is drunk hot or not at all, William. When will you learn? It's too bitter. You shouldn't let it brew so long. I knew you'd be coming along. You are so predictable. Methodical, I would say. Things must be accomplished in the right order if we want the world to keep turning as it does. You came here to warn me, sir. No, to advise you. Advise me against my father? Why? I think you are capable of deciding for- You haven't answered my question. Why warn me against my father? What are you afraid he will do to me? Well, I wouldn't want him to lead you into- I don't know what absurd adventure in you which- You act as though I were in danger. I agree with Louis, Gregory. You're trying to pass me off as a villain about to devour him. That's not funny, William. I won't let him follow you. You see, Louis, Gregory came here to make you change your mind. It's time for things to change. I acknowledge Father has done many good things for humanity, but his time is over, and now he must pass on the torch. That's enough. There, Louis. That's the pathetic example your father has to offer. I really am sorry about what happened to you. You don't know our family yet. We can't have given you a very good impression, but bear in mind that we are all against William's project. On the contrary. If he insists on going through with it, we will have no other choice than to intervene by force. Consequently, my dear Louis, you're going to have two sides. I would much rather have met you in different circumstances. Very well, Louis. See what happens when you don't follow their orders to the letter. Louis, I'm afraid the time to decide is now. <coughs> if you follow William, he will drag you down with him. If, on the other hand, you support me, I can assure you that nothing will happen to you. You won't be blamed for your father's error. I offer you liberty. He obliges you to choose. I generously ask you to betray your own father. That is a true face. Right. Before I answer, well, better think it over very carefully. Do I intend to embrace my demon nature and my place on the chessboard? Do I stay out of it and do my utmost to stop them? Or do I renounce my nature and do all I can to stay human? useless trying to resist my true nature. I am a demon. May as well accept it. The sooner the better. Even if I continue to live as a human, all my friends and acquaintances will inevitably end up dying. And I'll be left on my own. Forever. 
I am a demon and I have to behave like one. The sooner, the better. So? <coughs> what do you choose, Louis? I shall follow my father, Gregory. Very well. But don't say I didn't warn you. Please, don't take offense. I just can't turn my back on him. It's time we finished what we started, brother. The final vote of the conference over the acquisition of Louisiana will take place in a few hours. I propose you gather your troops and prepare to close the debate. That's precisely what I was going to suggest. Come, follow me. It's time for us to get ready. Do you really think we have a chance of winning? A chance? <laughs> you don't know me very well, Louis. We are going to win. But it only takes one person to vote against us. We'll have lost. That's true. That's why none of them will. Why? Because I have an asset that they do not. Which is you. My friends, prepare yourselves. The conference is about to resume. The time has come to lay down all our cards.